Helix. Something bad happened here. It seems deserted. Malaya, where are you? Malaya. You came, Casty. What were you doing here? You're asking the wrong question. You should instead be asking, what happened here? Does the word Santanejo mean anything to you? It was a flower of great importance to heirs apothecaries. Santanejo. <laughs> Good, Cassie. It's finally time to remember. I'll even lend a hand. Our story starts two years ago. It was a summer filled with the fragrance of green. The season of clouds and rain was right around the bend. Mm. Am I going to die? No, you're gonna live. Help is coming. Just hold on. You're faster than expected. How is he, Malaya? In a great deal of pain, but lucid. I've patched him up as best I could. We were right to keep him here for observation. Here, Lind. This should ease your suffering. Pull strong, breathing steady, good. Thanks. I'll be able to climb up and fix that darned roof for sure now. <laughs> Easy there, old timer. Learn your limits. You're not climbing anything. A leaky roof won't kill you, but recklessness will. You worry about getting better. I'll worry about those repairs. Casty, really? Carpentry isn't our vocation. <laughs> but that won't stop our mother hen here. She just can't resist clucking over her charges. No teasing. Oh, where's Trousseau? Sorry I'm late. I had to see an unexpected patient. Speak of the devil, dear. Welcome back, Trousseau. Who was this patient? Sally. She fainted, so I went to see what was wrong. I administered to her, and she seemed stable for the time being. Here, my notes. Though, I'm still concerned for her. I'd like to follow up on her soon. <laughs> I'm not surprised to hear that. You care more about your patients than any other apothecary I've met, Trousseau. 
That's the heart of what it means to be a healer. To extend the helping hand to all those in need. Casti's creed and words to live by. It was the force of her spirit that brought us all together. That creed's what makes our order special. I appreciate the kind words, everyone. But no working yourselves into the ground. Let's all take a break, yes? was just teaching me how to look after Jaya here. He was? Uh-huh. Jaya's just such a sweetie, isn't that right? <laughs> it must be nice to be so loved, Jaya. getting along. My brother's insufferable. We feud as often as not. I only wish that knucklehead had as much brain as he did brawn. If he was as clever as Malaya... <laughs> He'd be a force indeed. Still, it was thanks to his verve that you're standing here, yes? Yeah, guess I owe him for that. I suppose Andy's got at least one good quality, huh? You two make a wonderful team. playing up a storm. I was a fool for worrying over nothing. There's no shame in feeling concerned for a patient. In fact, I believe your empathy is your greatest strength. <sighs> Thank you. Well, I guess I'll check up on some of our other patients. I was just about to head up to Lynn's roof, see what I could do. Thanks for handling that for me, Andy. <laughs> no need for thanks. Leave the muscle work to me. I got the brawn for it. <laughs> you certainly do. Well, off with you then. That should about do it. Everyone seems to be doing well. Now to my last job for the day, sorting through all these patient notes. Help! Tem? Who's shouting? What's all this ruckus about? His face is as pale as a ghost. What happened, Tem? It's Sally! She... she suddenly fainted! I yelled and yelled, and, but she wouldn't wake up! Could you take me to her, Tem? We'll all go. Let me take a look, Trousseau. This swelling on her forehead... It wasn't there before. 
Some catalyst must have exacerbated her injury after you left. There's no way you could have predicted this, Trousseau. <sighs> we'll need medicine to reduce the swelling. Wait, you don't mean Santanejo, do you? Santanejo blossoms? Those flowers that grow on the summit of Mount Lithia? That place is rife with monsters. It's too dangerous for anyone. Hold it, Trousseau. Where are you off to? Flower picking, I presume. Please don't. You'll just end up another patient. We have medicine that can help with her condition. It won't do much, but we should try it first and see. But Santanejo Blossoms are the only thing that can save her for certain. If she can be saved, I want to do it. With my own hands. Wait, that's... Malaya, you and the others use what salves you have on hand. Keep her stable until we return. Trousseau and I will go gather the blossoms we need. Chief... Hold it! There's caring for patients, and then there's risking your life. You can't... No, Andy. I can, and I must. I share Trousseau's feelings. This child's life is on the line, and we must do all we can for her. <sighs> Those are the Chief's orders, Andy. We'll do everything we can to keep her alive, Casty. Just be safe out there. Thank you, Malaya. Chief! That's it! We can save her with this! Stay strong, Trousseau. Drink this. It's bitter as sin, but it will refresh you. Sky Bomb? You never fail to impress. How'd you know we'd need it? <laughs> I never leave home without it. You all push yourselves too hard. Yes, we do. By the way, why'd you support my decision back there? It was your spirit that motivated me. That earnest desire to save a life. You showed empathy and kindness. As a fellow apothecary, it felt right to encourage that in you. <laughs> there you go again, with that Mother Hen routine. It is our purpose to extend a helping hand to all those in need. It was that creed, your creed, that brought me here. We changed my destiny. I became an apothecary to cure my sister's illness. A malady said to be incurable. I studied for years and years. And in the end, my efforts were for naught. I watched her die in front of my very eyes. <sighs> Yet on her deathbed, she said this to me. Though my life could not be saved, your hands are those of a healer. Help those in need. Trousseau. There. We have the blossoms we need. Let's take them to Sally, Chief. She's waiting for us to heal her.
And so we return safely to Sally's side, the Santanejo blossoms in hand. We saved her life that day. Santanejo. Trousseau and I collected those flowers together. He was the gentlest of us all, and the purest of heart. Yeah, that's right. Too pure by half. It's what made it easier for the darkness to find a hold. And stain it with evil. What? Search your memories, Casty. You're almost there. Where are you going, Malaya? The town square. Come find me when you're ready. That was a long trip. Long, yes, but productive. We saved a lot of lives. <laughs> and now, I'm happy to save my sore feet. Oh, I can't wait to dive into bed. You were a trooper too, Jaya. I hope Trousseau had some time to relax while we were gone. There's our mother hen at it again, clucking over her chicks. Oh, stop teasing already. Hmm. It's darker than it usually is at this time of day. I can barely see. Whoa! Easy there, Jaya. <laughs> oh no! The animals! Chief, I'll see to them. <laughs> Something's wrong. We should hurry to the village. The healers are back! Help! Help us! It can't be. Sally! Tim! No pulse. What? The hell's going on here? What happened? Sally and Tim went out to play, but never returned. The whole village went out despite the rain to search for them. We eventually found them behind the mountain. But by then, there wasn't any hope left for them. Trousseau was here, wasn't he? Why didn't he help them? We went to the House of Healing, but no one was there. Trousseau was gone? But where did he go? <sighs> Black swelling all over both children's bodies. Signs that both coughed up blood. Their blood is... black. Black blood? This must be some sort of poison. I have a bad feeling about this. Hey, Apothecary? I'm not feeling so great either. 
And the same goes for a lot of us. My body won't stop shaking. Signs of paralysis setting in. <sighs> Casty, what's going on? Black blood. Andy, Malaya, quickly, they'll need help breathing. Couldn't save them. Not one. Damn it! What the hell's going on here? Chief! The whole town's dead. Bodies are everywhere. We need to stay calm and go over what we know. The first to fall sick were Sally and Tim. After that, everyone who went out looking for them fell one after the other. What sort of poison could do this? Wait. Black swelling and blood, I know those symptoms. The puddles. The water. The color is all wrong. Randy, you're on. That black bruising. Huh? You too, Andy. Damn it. Now whatever it is, we've got it too. The rain. It's... purple? Everyone, your coats! Quickly! It's the rain! There's some scourge in it that's causing the sickness. Look! Over there! A wildfire? No. Trees don't burn like that. Then what's causing that smoke? I don't know, but I have a hunch. Whatever evil infects this rain, that smoke is the cause. It's spreading poison into the air to rain down upon us. What do we do, Casty? If we do nothing, this pestilence will only spread further. If we are to save anyone, we need to stop that smoke. There's no one else who can help. It's up to us. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go! Andy and Randy, you're with us! Got it. Elma, you stay here. Help anyone you can. Let's move. That's right. We climbed that mountain to find answers. We needed to know what caused the rain that stole the villagers' lives. But I can't remember anything after that. I need to remember. Must be Bring it on! Skip me! 
with me. Here we go. Mahina! Got it! My turn. My turn. Now it begins.
precious to risk. Now it begins. Bring it on! Excuse me. Let's go! or fight. Now it begins. Allow me to start. Let's go! Next. 
patient? I'm just getting warmed up. That's it. <laughs> Not bad. My prey away. Here I come. Well now. Prepare yourself. Here I come. Nice one, Hikari! Marina! My turn. Here goes! <laughs> what to do? My turn. Here we go! Now let's grab some food! Prepare yourself. Right. Excuse me. Well. This is My turn. For the pride of Koo.
Chief, welcome home. It's a shame to see you here. I tried so hard to pick a time when everyone was absent. But you always rush to help those in need, don't you, Chief? Trousseau, you're the cause of all of this? Explain yourself, now! The smoke? I'm burning a special sort of poison. It'll rise up and up, turn in the clouds, then rain on down. <laughs> These are tears, friends. The tears of those suffering in this world. What are you saying? Do you understand what you're doing? Of course, Chief. I'm following our precepts to their logical end. Extending a helping hand to all in need. Isn't that right? <laughs> this rain brings salvation! Trousseau. Sally and Tem are dead. I know. I killed them. Oh, dear me. Our precious children are missing. Who cares if we get soaked? We must find them. This can't be true. You... You used the children to lure the villagers out into the rain? Why? You risked your life to save Sally once! I did. I was a fool who hadn't yet realized the truth. What truth? Didn't you say you want to ease people's suffering? Save them with your own hands? Come now, Chief. What do you think suffering is, hmm? Existence. <sighs> do you remember the man we met during that relief mission, oh, so long ago? He opened my eyes. I see it all so clearly now. He showed me the truth of this twisted world. We live on a vast graveyard of decay. Maggots glutting on rotting flesh. Chief, you don't look so well. Poison finally taking its toll, yes? No need to fret. I'll save you from your suffering. I'll save all of you. You should thank me for the courtesy. <laughs> <laughs> Harry's hands are not meant to take life away. And yours were the gentlest hands of all Trousseau. Casty! Open your eyes! This isn't like you! This isn't who you are! Casty! 
Misty, forget it! He's beyond hope. Get a hold of yourself. We need to retreat. Return to the village. No! We need to put out this fire! Doesn't look like it'll be easy to douse. He's likely got enough phosphol to burn for days. The logical thing would be to run, to save who we can save. There may still be some left alive. Why, Trousseau? <coughs> Casty! There, there, Chief. No regrets now. I'll extend my hand to all those you can no longer save. In fact, it's time for me to be on my way. There's to be a coronation in Timberane, a kingdom far to the west. I hear so many will be gathered there to see it. So very, very many people. They won't be expecting me to rain on their parade. No. Don't. Trousseau. You monster. Randy. Yeah. Malaya, get the chief to safety. Andy! Randy! I got one last lesson for you, Trousseau. This is what it means to extend a helping hand, no matter what it takes! No! What a shame. The fire's out. Oh well. I just about finished with this place anyway. My poison spreads through the air too, you know. It'll find you no matter where you hide. My dearest colleagues, I bid you farewell. doesn't look like it'll let up anytime soon. <laughs> Malaya... Casty, hang in there. Casty, Casty! No, I won't let you die! Hold on, just a little longer. Snowdrops. Swallow these petals, Casty. That should allow you to fight back against Trousseau's poison. If I could only find a way to turn these flowers into a more potent brew. Damn my inexperience! Come on, Casty. Yeah. <sighs> 
Delma, where are you? Someone, help! I know that, Winnie. Alma gave her life to save you. She was truly a kind soul. <laughs> I missed you, Jaya. Oh, you're weak. You've avoided the rain, but the poison's in the air as well. We need to get out of here. Please lend me your strength, Jaya. Rain clouds are blowing off towards the mountains. And we should head the other way. I must save Casty. I can't afford to focus on anything else. <coughs> Live, Casty. Live. Saving people from this foul rain. If anyone can create a cure, it's you. It's up to you now. remembered everything. <sighs> Malaya. You're no longer in this world, are you? That's right. I'm just fragments of your memories. A phantasm. A dream. Just... a memory. That's why I can only tell you things you already know. But now, at last, that job is done.
Malaya, you and the others saved my life. Now it's my turn. I swear to you, I will stop Trousseau. I believe in you, Casty. <laughs>